Lives <laughs> a big scary place But somehow I can't shake The feeling I might make A difference to the What's the matter? When I was little, I thought I would be what? a big comedian on late night TV. <laughs> oh. But now I'm 32, and as you can see, I'm not. Nope. Oh well. Nah. It sucks to be me. No. It sucks to be me. No. It sucks to be broke and unemployed and turning 33. It sucks to be me. Well, you think your life sucks? I think so. Your problems aren't so bad. I'm kind of pretty and pretty damn smart. You are. Thanks. I like romantic things like music and art. And as you know, I have a gigantic heart. So why don't I have a boyfriend? Fuck, it sucks to be me. Me too. It sucks to be me. It sucks to be me. It sucks to be Brian. And and not have a job. Shut up, have a cheek. It sucks to be me. Come on, it's just ten dollars. I'll pay you back tomorrow. You want to know why you settle something for us? We have a second now. Certainly. Whose life sucks more, Brian's or mine? Ours. We live together. We're close as people can get. We've been the best of buddies ever since the day we met. So he knows that's a place to make me really upset. Oh, every day is an aggravation. Such anal things like ironing your underwear. <laughs> like that very small apartment we share. Oh, hell. So do you. That's why I'm in hell too. It sucks to be me. No, it sucks to be me. It sucks to be me. It sucks to be me. Is there anybody here it doesn't suck to me? It sucks to be me. We live on Avenue Q. 
in Princeton. Hey, buddy, I'm Brian. This is my fiance. My name is Christmas Eve. <laughs> you so cute. Very handsome. You single? Yeah. Because she's single. Oh, Christmas Eve. That's Kate Monster. She lives in our building. Oh, hi. Hi. <laughs> Tracky. Morning, Tracky. Oh, me no time to talk. Be busy. <laughs>
Gary Cutler. <laughs> Maybe this is an opportunity. Maybe I'm not meant to work in some dumb office for the rest of my life. Maybe, maybe I have a higher purpose. What's a purpose? A purpose is direction to your life. It could be a job, a family. It could be the pursuit of knowledge. Monster stuff. Uh -huh. Oh, well, you know, Trucky Monster. 
monster upstairs? Uh-huh. Well, he's Trekkie Monster and you're Cave Monster. Right. You're both monsters. Yeah. Are you two related? What? Princeton, I'm surprised at you. I find that racist. Oh, oh well, I'm sorry. I was just asking. Well, it's a touchy subject. No, not all monsters are related. What are you trying to say, huh? That we all look the same to you? No. Huh? No, no, no. Not at all. Oh, I'm sorry. I guess that was a little racist. I should say so. You should be much more careful when you're talking about the sensitive subject of race. <laughs> well, look who's talking. What do you mean? What about that special monster school you just told me about? What about it? Could someone like me go there? No, we don't want people like you. <laughs> We're both a little bit racist. And dating it is not an easy thing to do. But I guess it's true. Between me and you, I think everyone's a little bit racist. Sometimes <laughs> it doesn't mean we go around committing hate crimes. Look around and you will find no one's really colorblind. Maybe it's a fact we all should think. Judgments I could have hired or could buy a newspaper from. No. You know, just little judgments like thinking that Mexican bus boys should learn to speak goddamn English. Right. <laughs>
face.
sure. And Gary, you keep selling your possessions on eBay. Yes, I do. And Princeton, you send me that sweet online birthday card. True. Oh, but Kate, what do you think you do after? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for this tea. 
I was just looking at side A. Great songs. Oh, well, did you get to side B yet? Not yet. Oh, it's great. Check it out. Yeah. I'm marking right here. Oh, stuck on you. Love me too.
few drinks, and I sure hope you enjoy my set. Oh, yeah, let's hear it. <laughs> You can be 
you're amazing. I want you to have this. It's a penny I carry around with me for good luck. It's from the year I was born. See? Who knows? Maybe it'll bring you good luck. It did for me. I found you. I want you to know the time that we've spent, how great it's been, how much it's meant.
beautiful, wasn't it, Rod? Gee, they're so lucky to have each other. Are you upset, Rod? I need a moment to myself, okay? Well, nobody talk to me. Uh, what's the matter? Hey, what's up with Rod? Yeah, he's sure looking down in the dumps lately. He don't. He, he need a girlfriend. A girlfriend? You got to be kidding, Rod. He's not so ugly. No, but I was speaking Rod is one of those gays. Rod is gay? I bet Nikki would know. Hey, Nikki, come over here. Oh, sure, guys. Oh, what's up? We wondering if Rod is a gay. <laughs> well, I, it's funny you should ask, because I do think Rod is gay. I always have. But, you know, I figured if he wanted to tell me, he would. So, yes, definitely, I would say that my buddy Rod is a closeted homosexual. <laughs> huh? Okay, gay. How could you say that about me? Oh, hi, Rod. Oh, all I said was, uh, yes, definitely, I would say that my buddy Rod has an unascended testicle. <laughs>
she wasn't very strong. <laughs> yeah. You all right? Um. Um. Kate. Kate, I have something I need to say. Princeton, you can tell me anything. Listen, when I moved here to Avenue Q, I was looking for my purpose. I remember. And uh, we've been spending so much time together, and I've lost track of finding it. Uh-huh. I don't want to be an old man and look back and realize I never found my reason to be alive. So... Yeah. So you don't want to spend time with me anymore? Oh, no, I love being with you. Oh, good, because I thought you meant... But I don't want a girlfriend before I know my mission in life. But you... Look, I can't get tied down now, Kate. If we stay together, believe me, we'll never even be friends in the end. But I'm not looking for friends. I have plenty of friends. <laughs> but you like me, don't you? Well, yes, I do. And I think that's why you should get out of here. You mean we? Unless you have another definition for get out of here. Ladies and gentlemen, will you please take your seats? The performance will continue in three minutes. Thank you. Uh, excuse me, is there somebody in there? Yeah, hi. Uh, are you going to be long? No, not too long, just a little while. All oh, right, okay. <coughs> Look, there's, there's not much time left in the interval, and uh, I really need to get in there, if you know what I mean. So, uh, would you mind hurrying it up? Oh. Okay. Oh. 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 
Hello there. You know, I've been sitting here for about 15 minutes now, and I've gotten a lot done. I reflected on my day so far, I finished half the crossword, and I texted a bunch of my friends. And it led me to realize something. Do you know what I think is the most important thing in the world? Time to do the things that you want to do. Time, it's well spent when it's spent on you. Time's what each of us has a lifetime of. But people don't make enough time to do things they love. So take your time doing the crossword, taking your time. Time to flip through a magazine. Taking time to take a nap, taking time to swim a lap, taking time to take your time while you're taking a crap. Oh, I'm taking my time. <laughs> oh, I guess I'm not quite done yet. Huh? What's going on in there? Some bloke tying up the loo. Oh, no. I had a beef curry for lunch. Here, you in there. Hurry up, we haven't got all day. Some of us want to see the second act. You've been in there forever. Hmm. See, that's strange. To me, it doesn't feel like forever at all. Maybe it's because I'm relaxing and taking care of myself. But to those guys, I guess every second probably feels like an eternity. It's all relative. Isn't that interesting? Isn't that interesting, guys? What? The theory of relativity. What the hell? The theory of... Look, I'm going to take this door off its bloody hinges if you don't get off that bolt right now. Time. It's relative to the sea you're in. Is someone singing in there? Time. It's a mystery and it's always been. I think I'll use the labels. Look, if I don't get in there right now, I'm going to have a problem. And if I have a problem, you'll have a problem. That's for shit, mate. We are. Oh, you son of There is too many distractions here for me to enjoy my personal time. I'll give you distractions, you asshole. Let's drown them out, everybody. Ready? And they're gonna pass you by So take a few to spend on you Before you die Oh, I'm oh, Taking my time Ladies and gentlemen, will you please take your seats The performance is about to continue Thank you Wanker Get off your ass and stop worrying. Everyone's 
everyone's getting together to mess around the city today. <laughs> Have fun. When I say everyone, that includes you. There is life outside your apartment. I know it's hard to conceive. But there's life outside your apartment. And you're only gonna see it if you leave. There is cool shit to do, but it can't come to you. And who knows, do you might even score? There is life outside your apartment. But you've got to open the door. No thanks, I'm staying in. Don't tell me I gotta force you. I'm sorry. All right, everyone, he's resisting. No, there is no. life outside. Okay. 
I did already, and they kicked me out too. There's got to be someone who can help you out, buddy. Sorry. Why, <laughs> good evening there, Gary. Hey. Uh, listen, Gary, I need a place to stay. And I was wondering if I could just, you know, sleep on your floor. I just tore out and I patched things up. I see. Well, how do I put this up? No. No. Oh, oh, I've asked everyone. And if you don't take me in, where do I live? What about on the street? You mean I should be homeless? Sure. Oh, well, that's a terrible way to live. Oh, yeah? Driving a has been at age 15. <laughs> Look, kid, I know I'm living in the dumps, but look on the bright side. Think of all the joy you'll bring to others when they find out just how miserable you are. What? Right now you are down and out and feeling really crap. I'll say. And when I see how sad you are, it sort of makes me happy.
think I heard a compliment in there somewhere. <laughs> I'm gonna get rid of this stupid penny, and I'll make a wish. I hope, more than anything, I hope I find someone who I love. Someone who loves me back. Yeah! Somehow I don't feel any better. Look, Lucy, I'm only looking for my purpose, my big break, my big revelation. You know the only revelation people have in life, kiddo? They're not special. You're not special. You know, luckier or more gifted than anyone else. You don't think so? No! Well, now whenever I pass by this place, I'll think about what you said just now. What's so special about this place? Oh, you mean here on 34th and 5th, right next to the Empire State Building? <laughs> 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 Lucy. <laughs> Lucy, can you hear me? Princeton, I, I heard your friend had an accident. How is she? Her head fell off in the ambulance. <laughs> and the doctor spent the night sewing it back on. But the prognosis is good. What happened to her? Some idiot threw a penny off the Empire State Building. <laughs> Ships? <laughs> Kate, what are you doing here? Why didn't you bother to say you weren't coming? What? I told you in my note. What note? The one I left with... Oh. I feel better now. <laughs> How are you, Keith? Honestly? Of course. I'm working at Barnes & Noble. I miss <laughs> my students. I work all day and I'm poorer than ever. What about your dream? Some people's dreams come true, but I don't think I'm one of those people. Don't say that. But that's the way life is, Princeton. Nobody teaches you that when you're a kid, because if you knew, no one would ever dream or want to grow up. But you can't stop growing up. I'm late for work. Okay, listen. I wish you were happy. And I wish I had my life together, but I don't. I don't know when that's going to happen. And I'm so sorry for hurting your feelings because I think you are so special. <laughs> sorry that wasn't more articulate. It was perfectly articulate. I really do have to go.
what would I give to go back and live in the corn with a meal plan again? <laughs> I wish I could go back to college. In college you know who you are. You sit in the car and think, oh my god, I can totally go. Oh, we're collecting money. It's for kids. 
We're raising money to help build your dream school. <laughs> Give us your money. Definitely glad that you did. That's just what my parents told me when I was a kid. <laughs> but giving feels so great. And I bet it wouldn't hurt your chances with AIDS. Well, that too. I'll give you a dollar. You're a gentleman and a scholar. A monster school? Sounds like a good cause. Give me your wallet. Oh my gosh. I don't know how to thank you guys. I mean, Kate will be so grateful. That kind of money is such a great start. Yeah, $15. What? $15? Every little bit helps. Mm, looks like we're going to have to ask more people. Give us your money.
check with enough money to renovate the building. And you can hire teachers and cafeteria ladies and make a real working school for monsters. We all raise the money. You mean all that money for me? Most of it came from a donor who wishes to remain anonymous. Well, let's just say I chipped in too. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Just say thanks. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. The entire monster community thanks all of you. Listen, uh, now that everybody's all gathered here, Christmas Eve and I have an announcement. We got a divorce. Oh, I am kidding. <laughs> but we need to have a new What? We married now. It's time to move on. So we moved to a nicer neighborhood, to the Lower East Side. <laughs> Can you tell me where I can reach the 
the super? I am the super. Well, you're Gary Coleman and you're the super? <laughs> Are you laughing at me? No, no, no. No, that's all right, kid. That's why I'm here. <laughs> oh, well, listen, I I'd like to talk to you about the apartment for rent. Oh, sure. <gasps> Wait a minute. Wait a minute, that's it. What? My burpees. Oh, well, well, look at this kid here, all fresh-faced and new and not knowing anything. Well, he has no idea what he's in for. He thinks the hard part's over, but it's not. And maybe he needs a little help. And maybe my purpose is to take everything I'm learning and put it, put it into a show. Are you high? <laughs> yeah, and I'm not some young kid who doesn't know anything. Fuck you! <laughs>
She's a puppet, Milka. Uh, uh, it's pleased to meet you. Uh, I'm Tevia. Hi. This is my family. Hello. This is mine. Hello. This is mine. Howdy. This is mine. Hello. This is not mine. Who the hell is this kid? I think he was a nine, Papa. <laughs> yeah, well, stop following us. Go on, beat it. Get out of here. Go hang out at Jumpers. Jeez. Oh, so you're a... Uh, I'm a puppet. I, yes. Yeah, what's the matter? You got a problem with puppets or something? <laughs> I'm Brian, and uh, this is my wife, Hanukkah Eve. Sharon, I can vote for a green card. What's that music? Oh, it means a new puppet is entering. God forbid we get you human around here. What do you do with a BA in Yiddish? Who the hell majors in that? I were a human. Why? Matchmaker, matchmaker, make me a match. Find me a boy, no foreskin attached. Night after night in the dark, I'm alone. So find me a top of my eye. Ronnie, oh Ronnie, oh, I can die for you. Oh. He's wealthy, he's gay, and yes, he is a Jew, and he's a nice man, a good man. A wolf. You're a fagula? <laughs> I'm a lonely man, Tevya. Oh. Oh. Papa. <laughs> Papa. Princeton and I want to be married. Married? I'll be brief. On the other hand, on the other hand, tradition, sure, go ahead. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> what? Hanukkah Eve. This reminds me of our wedding day. Hanukkah Eve, do you love me? No. <laughs> laser, laser, wait. We must first ask permission to be wed. Oh! It's the song! Sardevia, we ask to be married. No, no, no. A man. Marriages must be reserved for the heteros. Family values must be preserved. None of the gays can ever be wed. That's what I said. That's what I said. That's what I said. And I said Melanie Griffith is the best Roxy Hart ever. Oh, oh my God, God it's Ben Bradley. Yes, I am. Ben Brantley, I write the Times reviews. Who cares about gay marriage? Where are all the Jews? Oh, come off it, Brantley. We all eat bagels. We all have overbearing mothers. And thanks to critics like you, we all feel persecuted. So everyone's a little bit Jewish. We're a little bit Jewish. No, you're not.
not Jewish at all. It doesn't matter who's Jewish. Suggesting that you have to be sure takes gall. Oh, you read that review. And it's nothing new. That boy from Oz was gay, so who do they pick? Oh, he's he's so talented. talented. You Jack was really good, but has he ever sucked? Banderas in nine, not Italian. And Dina Manzel in Wicked, not green. No. Tony Braxton in Aida, not an actress. Ah! Everyone's a little bit Jewish. You see, not me, not me. I am. Kim Cedar used to be whatever you wish to be. Avenue Q and Hitler on 